Good evening. A doctor at the centre of an inquest into the death of a Moonta mother has apologised for wrongly diagnosing her. Peter Marsh admitted he shouldn't, he shouldn't have discharged the 35-year-old from hospital hours before she died of a heart attack. On Mother's Day two years ago, Kane Selby Fulgrave said goodbye to his wife and the mother of his two children. Today, the doctor who discharged her from hospital hours before she died admitted that was a mistake. Um, I, yeah, I'm speechless. He's meant to be a professional in a, in a hospital. Fiona Selby Fulgrave died from a rare heart condition known as coronary artery dissection. Hours earlier, Dr Peter Marsh had discharged the 35-year-old from the Wallaroo Hospital. The doctor told the inquest he wrongly diagnosed her symptoms as neurological. That was despite a blood test showing elevated levels of troponin, an indicator of various heart disorders. Obviously it's left my kids without a mother and, and uh, myself you know, without a wife. Towards the end of his evidence, Dr Marsh apologised for his mistake. Words cannot describe how sorry I am. If I had the power to turn back time and know what I know today, the events would have been completely different. A senior nurse at the hospital gave evidence that she felt uneasy about Dr Marsh's decision to discharge the patient and she wanted to get a second opinion from another doctor but he'd already gone home. Helen Crosby said she and another nurse even discussed calling Mrs Selby Fulgrave back themselves, but it wasn't common practice for a nurse to do so. The inquest heard the Health Practitioner Regulation Agency is investigating three cases involving Dr Marsh, who is under a restricted practicing licence. Kim Robertson, Nine News.